In 1600, Kepler had the opportunity to work with the Holy Roman Emperor's royal astronomer, the Dane Tycho Brahe. Earlier, from his observatory Uraniborg on the island of Venn, Brahe had set up a scientific laboratory with a number of employees to aid in the making of observations, tabulating data, and calculating planetary positions. His dedication to making the best possible observations to drive astronomy forward meant that his naked eye data were very accurate to within an arc minute or two. Now, an arc minute is a sixtieth of a degree, just as the more familiar time minutes are sixtieths of an hour. And just for fun, the sixty seconds that make up a minute got that name from originally being called second minutes, since they divided minutes. Now, in creating his system of nature, Tycho combined aspects of both Ptolemy and Copernicus' systems. The Earth lay at the center, stationary, heavy, unmoving. Around it spun the sun, stars, moon, and planets every day, just as for Ptolemy, but Bra has the other planets go around the sun, which goes around the Earth. The combined motion of the sun and the planets around the sun took care of explaining the looping motion. But for Bra, the planets didn't really go around the sun. Like Copernicus, Bra used an artificial or mean sun, the gray point that you see here, a point near the true sun, but which goes around the Earth in a circle at a constant speed. Like Copernicus, the actual sun played no role in Tycho's model. And he also used a double epicycle rather than an equant to account for the uneven motion of the planets.